I stream daily, almost daily on twitch.tv slash canister underscore mtg, so be sure to visit that if you would like to catch some of my live content. Hi. Uh, I play Hive of uh, Tyrant, I thought sees you. Have fun. Okay. Always thought sees. And why discard Amalia? Because you'll take his name, Amalia. Well, reasonable. Reasonable choice, to be honest. Blood pipe harvest, huh? Oma Shaman? I don't know, they can just kill it. I saw the arm in Amalia and hoped you were playing Amuletos. Close, honestly, I see. Hmm, minus one, I guess. Well, again, I cannot attack the Muta Vault anyways. Muta Vault pass. One, two, three, four, five. Takenuma. No, no, Takenuma. Numa, Numa, yeah. Numa, Numa, yeah. Takenuma, Numa, yeah. I think I'll keep the core to court for a, a free mana return my monster thing. It's not a bad draw. Oh, 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 oh. Welcome, Moon and Star. Caritas. Problem. Caritas, Traitor of Get. Hmm. One has one card in hand. What happens if it's a push? I get. Specialist, I reanimate Amalia. I dirge for Savior Wilder Walker. Attack them and they die. Or if there is a push somewhere. I don't think they can push in a great way. Too late for my mercy. Get bat. Well, then I guess the bat is all. Well, no, no bat. No, no bat. Get bat. It's not actually better if my bot get pushed. Gets pushed. Dawaj bata, no nie ma bata. Ready clarify that nie ma bata. Specialist attacks and they die in combat to Dina popping off. So is Scarlet has a problem a tiny bit? I guess it is. It is a bit of a problem. Let's do this. I think. Mm. Five lander with a goose. 
I don't know about that. This looks better. I summon dog. I summon three to vampire. Oh no, I stomp dog. Bro's villain just stomp dog. Just like that. I summon bone crusher giant. Okay. Fajny deczek, 1, 2, 3, 4. Ja nie wiem, czy jak mówisz, że fajny deczek to ci się podoba, czy nie, skóra. I think it's pretty fajny. In fact. Path of Peril. It's not even bad. It just kills my dog. Dobra. Popisało się kompany. It was actually one, two, three, one. No, one, two, three, four. I like goof, no. Kurwa, ale jeszcze raz zrobisz ticket, dobra, ja mnie zajebiście. No dzień dobry, duo funnel. Zajebiście, drawy. Probably bo sedziu fable. Fable. We make it into a 3-3. Kill that goes to the graveyard with it. There's no way keeping kill that goes is actually correct against vampires. I should do that in the run keep. I could. Should do that in the run keep, but it's good. Villain doesn't seem probably has a land in hand. Wild of Walker. Don't mind if I do. Cheaper, cheaper, cheaper. Okay. What a cringe hand. Repast. That's a lot for such a shallow draft. Maybe you're maybe you're the one who's shallow. Have you considered that? Is MH3 the best format of the MH sets? I almost haven't played MH2 limited and I don't remember much from MH1 I like Gówno MH3 is dumb okay okay shrieking drake for my mm, molten gatekeeper combo There is designs in MH3 that feel almost planted. What do you mean? Like everything is planted in a set, right? Maybe I can play Monstrous Vortex. One, two, three. 
Probably not. Drake good? No, Drake is not good. I went infinite with primal players plus Drake in draft once. It was very cool. Yeah, I was mentioning that earlier. Actually, that's true. Let's play fastlands. I have a lot of fastlands in my deck. If I draw another one, I want to be able to cast company. The Hoppa, I think we talked about limited. At least that was the original question. Which draft will I enjoy the most? No place. No, zajebiste jest ta kompania. Naprawdę. Robi wrażenie. I'm even playing a bullet with a relatively high hit count. I guess 26, that's not that high. I am not actually playing a build with a high hit count. Hmm. No place. What's that enchantment? It's Proft's idiotic memory. Memory. It puts counters on Ledger Shader for every card you have drawn this turn. People swear by that card, but I swear it sucks. I think it's you who suck, Bobsie. It is really hard. Just kills people. I've been really happy with the card when I play as Phoenix. Read the Fae. That puts a creature that my company can hit a monster that reanimates into my graveyard now look at how big this pickcock prankster is now a 4-6 just crazy This tournament is up to five rounds. I will probably play all of them, maybe not all. There is also a second tournament at 1 p.m. which I will play. Which is Legacy. I have altered my Legacy deck from yesterday so that it makes more sense. I think the curve in the normal scam decks is a bit too high for my enjoyment so here i have four tamiyos and four dazes and just few two drops 
and murderous cut to actually remove problematic things. Is the Ulamog instead of Grizzlebrand real possibility or troll? Sounds bad to me. Chosen, chose a sleight of hand. Gain life with reservoir. I hit. Huh, those are pretty good. It's kind of curious though. Do I maybe hit specialist Amalia instead of Walker Amalia? That feels almost better. Because they'll have a removal spell anyways. For sure. So I put 4 life gain triggers on the stack and I target Dina. Dina. I didn't play the dog because spell pierce. Why not just win? Because they will have a removal spell, so this feels like I put two threatening creatures into play instead of one. This kind of spell pierce. Amalia graveyard. Amalia graveyard. There's an argument for growing Amalia, I guess. Veteran Graveyard. Walker. Top. Maybe if they time will combo me, they can kill me. With Profts. They can't time will combo anymore. But yeah, we've got Ios. I think reanimating Ulamog is not necessarily better than reanimating Grizzlebrand most of the time. And it's also much worse to draw because you can't pitch it. And just having Uno cards in your deck that you can't pitch is just too bad. When you can play Uno cards that are pitchable. Is the Ephemerate Ulamo combo not strong enough to edge out though? That was the combo, is that when you reanimate you get to keep your Ulamo, you also get to keep your Grizzle, Grizzle Brand. Seems like an equivalent combo to me. Sure, but like the combo is still that you have to reanimate it and then you keep it. And Is a 10... Annihilator monster better than Grizzlebrand? Sometimes, maybe. For the most part, it seems pretty equal. I think Sentinel is strong against this, their sweepers. I think Fauna Shaman is bad. Fuse is terrible, shouldn't be in my deck to begin with. Veteran, Baby Cat. How do I perform in the Legacy event last night? I went 3-4 and dropped. Actually I went 3-3 and then now I was on the draw game 2. In round number 7 and I moved to 5 and dropped before starting the game. Someone said top 8 was 6 blue black scam. That's freaky. I played against a little bit of blue black, not too much. I played with a 
shitty version too. I'll play with this in the last chance today. Of course, untested. But I kind of was frustrated by how many two drops were there in my legacy deck yesterday. And with the days as wastelands, it just make just doesn't make sense. Not to mool. Keep. Do I have a DB account? I do, in fact. I, even for the standard of this stream, the song is bad. Wow. 10 minutes timeout for being so soft. I need to hit my land drop, so I'll play the Cena Scout. And it also fills my cord. Gonna be inconvenient to play it. I'll set Graveyard. You can try playing Nethergoyf as a good one drop. Card is pretty good in blue black mirrors. I played the one Nethergoyf yesterday. I don't think I want to play it alongside Murderous Cat. So I'll play Tamiyo. So is Nethergoyf particularly good at. Blue Black Mirrors doesn't really seem like it. Just power and toughness. Yeah, Tamiya pitches to force. False guy pitches to grief. Play Sentinel because it matches up well against Anger of the Gods. Gives me a map so I can play Amalia and pop off next turn if I want to. Seems like we're axing. Risk I can't really get rid of it in game one, just adds more pressure than Tamio. Yeah. Well I build my deck, like I this is like more of a control deck. So I think Tamio suits this better. But we'll see maybe the theory. Falters. Or maybe it doesn't falter. doing this so that I can both deal free damage and then also have a board that doesn't die to anger. I can fly. I can fly. Your opponents can't gain life. Holy shit. I don't know. What if I just duck key bulks? This trades, this jumps. Let's just attack with the free free. I can fly. I can fly. I can fly. I know that Guldukad was advocating for cutting Phoenix against Amalia and his guide. I think that would match up really poorly against four times Skyclave Apparition builds. Like mine. I can fly. I can fly. I can fly. I can fly. And I, I can fly. I can fly.
I think I can mail over the company. I want to hit return. They're just good enough. Let's keep the dirge. Dirge, dirge. How do you say this? He's a phenomenal control player. I can fly. I can fly. I can fly. Genara 19, thank you very much for your prime sub. What happens if you draw on MTGO? There's no draws on MTGO, but if you loop too hard, the game is gonna reset or award you a draw, and then you just like play another game. Pronounce the D and dirt like dirt. Dirge. 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 Okay, thank you. For summoning some pickcock pranksters. I can fly. 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 I think our team was testing Dirge and Nadu for a long time. Well, makes sense that they eventually stopped. We can get something cool. We're gonna reanimate Osseid and just kill them, but... We can get Jirina. Chirina. <clears throat> I'll say it over one of the dogs is paying off already. I mean, this is a 10 3 win, right? So I should keep. What does the last chance qualify you for? It qualifies me for the <clears throat> Pioneer Showcase qualifier, which can qualify me for the Mox. Sorry, I misspoke. It's a turn three loss, not a turn three win. Hmm, harnash. Nice deck, bro.
Wow, reservoir on top, that's crazy. Oh, 20 damage. What a heavy hit. Let's sideboard in Skyclave Apparitions, Vital Push, Knight of Dusk Shadow, Cat Extraction Specialists times two, Cat Dog, Cat even in this too. Cut the dirge. In the return, probably. Three slow card. Twenty five creatures for my companies. Call it Govno, no. Why are your veterans so ugly, Mr. Canister? They just represent how I feel right now. Let's go to five. Keep this card this. This card the Kurva no nie wiem. We discard those two. So I can summon the knight, life gain knight. Yeah. Sounds rough. Walgar of one care. Play the night. Have my opponent play Skyclave or something. They milled. A Skyclave apparition. It's kind of crazy. Clearly they're looking for a land. Reservoir. Razor Verge Ticket. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Interesting, should I play the land? I think I might find a use for 5 mana next turn if I company into an Alcid. Or if I want to activate Fauna Shaman. Cycling it seems pretty not real. Wait, we're not even cording. Curious. Maybe we're cording now for an apparition. Mm. Oh, okay, so I had push now cord. That's a problem. Fair. But they don't have reservoir, they milled it. One specialist would have been nice here. Yeah. I think boarding out all specialists is not necessarily the thing to do. I do get a treasure token and a life point though, so... John Cena! Tu, 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 tu. 
Collected company such a treacherous card. I think the ticket lost me the game. Keep and it's pretty pretty strong. Otawara. Spectral Sailor, not anime. No play, curious. Wedding announcement, holy shit. Okay. That seems largely unthreatening. Do I want company even? Because I could just go Veteran Amalia. That's probably just good. On a shaman graveyard, that Amalia graveyard that specials can act as an Amalia even if my opponent exiles this with an apparition. Mausoleum Wanderer. Get a specialist, draw four lands. Are spirits still a like power in Pioneer? Not really. It's just a deck that Mr. RMF keeps playing always. I don't think Apparition is what I want. Drawing some extra lands would be nice. I'll say no. Cord, cord is fine. Too bad not to have drawn a land, but main deck wedding announcement is surprising. Get lost. Am I excited for fully furry set previous tomorrow? Not at all, no. Not in the slightest. Regular sets like don't excite me. I need to be stimulated by modern horizons type stuff nowadays. I think the whimsical creatures are cute, sure. This is kind of inconvenient that I played in such a way where I got quelled really hard. Are MTGO decklists gone forever? No, they're returning today. In a slightly reduced state. I think Mr. Wizard 
decided that we should get less lists for one reason or another. And Mr. Wizard is a powerful magician. Should be careful when. <clears throat> Facing off against them. This is Arnold. Rattle chains does work. Maybe I should have played company when I had an opening to do so, even though it would be a weaker play at the time. Male Benavides Aguirres Land Land Curious Collected Company Keep it Villain on one card in hand only Maybe there's no equaler. Yeah, yeah. Draw a card, that's good. Do you have Harpooner? Pulse board? I do. I never sleep. I handed you a 9, would you defeat post canister? I don't know what that means, so um, the answer is who knows. Well, my shaman is gonna be my wild group walker. Goose. Graveyard. I never sleep. Dina. Graveyard. Shaman. Graveyard. Maybe I should keep any creature, but an untapped land is also useful. Not that I have many at this point. <clears throat> I think I actually don't really can't hit anything that doesn't cost me life. Hello, hello Dark Core Card Games. This is 10 power, so I might attack them as well. I'll jump. Rattle snails. Maybe I should have played the innkeeper. Would gain me two life. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I do not die to a lord still, so. I'm probably good. And next turn, if I draw the return, I can return all the creatures, and Dina is gonna kill them. I never sleep. Attack you. 
Wezmę, gdy mu ta waluta champ. Okay. Could actually get a bot and kill them with Dina from the graveyard. I think Apparition is looking good. Crawl Harpooner looking good. Vital looking good. I think Fauna Shaman kind of awkward against a deck like this. Specialist, pretty awkward. I could have Sentinel with Wild of Walker and Pushes. I think I can play a real game against them. Cut those two, maybe. 26 creatures would like to cut on their non creature. Okay, let's go with the Sentinels. What's your thoughts on blank green roots? I like the deck, but sometimes it feels like it does nothing. That was my experience with the deck too. I would even say that most of the pay, most of the times it feels like it does nothing. So like it's kind of cool, but hardly powerful, I would say. Was it combo decks? Are they poke champion? Generally speaking, sure. Wagger of Wanker. I don't think it is wise not to cast anything. I think I'll play an apparition. Which means I have the highest impact possible spell under their Queller, so if they don't have a way to protect the Queller, I can take the initiative back again on the next turn. P Hall. I play Apparition. Ooh, oil rattle chains, okay. Wow, excellently flashed opponent. This actually works well if my opponent doesn't play anything. Nice. I have seven life against four power. Next turn I can gain a shit ton of life again. Apparition. Okay, that kinda gets me. That works poorly. For me. Flash Apparition, that's overpowered. Now I have to chum block with Apparition. I'll not charm block, I can do this. Well, that's not bad. Hmm. 
He's a phenomenal control player. Andri Klepac, thank you for your prime sub. Very wise to spend it here on my channel. Spell Queller. Q U E L L E R. What's my reward? If I hadn't attacked, I think I would have been fine. Unimpressed by the Lunark veteran, I guess. Inkeeper supports cords just much more effectively. The Zeg is all mono creatures, so like supporting cords seems like a tough adventure sometimes. Nas said that he felt strongly about playing for. Foreign Keeper, two veteran, but he was also wrong. Crazy how Kenny just destroyed Drake's career in a way that Drake's action didn't. Chad, what did Kendrick Lamar do? Not super big on scattered groves either, not sure. It's kind of useful. Oh, Velen is skipping turn one. Walker into the graveyard. Let's keep it and let that be your test opponent. No more lies. Still were afraid of it. I'm not sure if comboing off would have been even good for me. <clears throat> for sure this is great for me. Dina, Graveyard Dina, I think I can draw something better. He wrote and sang a music song portraying the mischievous character of another known rhyme music singer Drake. What did Drake do to deserve that treatment? He grooms teenagers, I see. Hopefully no quell speller. Just block, that would be bad. Nice. Happy. Tishana straight binder. Curious. Flyers are unfair. Did I play in the showcase yesterday in the end? I did play in it. I don't know if it was in the end or not. I went 3-4 and dropped. Srattles Reigns Curva. Because what if Fail Push isn't actually particularly good in Amalia either. All attack, I guess. 
Well, that's nice. The Muta Vaults are gonna be pretty good at not letting the last attack through, but holy shit. I need to top deck a company and resolve it. And even then, well, it's gonna be pretty scary. When the last dense counter is removed. How they do, as I said, 3 4 drop. Even was 9 rounds and play till the end. Oh, it's a pure dollar now. Had we drawn a spell, maybe we could have done something, but. Not looking too great. I hope you draw another land, thank you. I mean... I think I would rather just draw... Company. I don't have reach, but I can just take 8, on top draw Amalia, win. That's the plan at least. Sentinel of nameless of the nameless city. How did that end up against in my deck against spirits? I think I just said I would prefer it, like I would like that with the walker to gain life. This type of a deal. Did not even hit a spell, which I think is a problem. No, it's the same. I say I can't gain enough life. Close. Interesting. Kind of flooded. Don't you do die to vaults anyway? No, I can block them on the ground. I mean, I died to this, I don't know what do you mean. Just play more self mail. I'll need names. Names of the cards. Self mail what? Doesn't seem like a NIV deck. So, your curiosity will not be satiated, TD Knight. Deadly cover up. That's annoying. Amalia combo, I hear the deck is busted. Sort of. What's the game plan of your deck? It's a combo deck. Returns no card to Takenuma. What a waste. I put the water in hand and deadly cover up.
John Cena. So I have to sweep. And I draw a reservoir and win. That's my plan. Yeah, they don't have the evidence to make me shuffle. I just need to find a reservoir, I guess, which is not a guaranteed, but... Let's keep looking. Maybe I return to the ranks. Maybe that's good enough. Dina? No, Dina. It sounds good enough to keep returning, though. They sweep, I can do the same thing again. So, what's your move now, villain? Frederick Douglas. Ottawa pay free life question mark I think I might have too many fast lands too. Nas had the full twelve fast lands, which was kinda crazy, crazy high. There actually is not a creature like Wayfinder for creatures. Like that will be in the deck of I think pretty sure. Twelve fast top lands, exactly. Fast lands, yeah, not so fast actually. More like slow lands. That's rough. There's a pirate that finds another pirate. That's pretty good. Really sounds decent. Wow, not casting the sweeper? Holy shit, bro, what are you waiting for? On top. Bro, on top? Don't even waste my time. Ah, I think I have to summon the bat. Actually, I don't have the mana to remove the blocker. Oh, emissary. Sounds good. Cycling a Typhoon, okay. Take Sweeper. Play Ticket. Pass. Cross off is a good suggestion. In a way. Good as in humorous for the chat. That's a good draw. I play a combo which kills all of my creatures. Let's just dismiss all. 
graveyard innkeeper we are looking for the reservoir now of course i'll mill the goose Seismic Assault, that would be crazy good. Should consider adding it to my deck. Oh, it's a full like finish cam, just feel like it's not that time yet. Intensively. They hope to shuffle your deck and counter Reservoir. Well, they have not to die first. I guess they, I don't know, they know the boss surgeon. This deck is basically Doomsday, more or less. Yeah, we do have a cycle line, actually, that's true. We also just kill my opponent, unless they have push. I activate Shivan Reef. No, I make it 2 2. Sure. Jump away, my friend. Uh... First time Decker, that's funny. I attack. Ci kurwa z tym Typhoonem, ja pierdolę. Zemula chłop cały mecz. Resolves. Did you draw a counter, counter spell? Mm, trouble. What card would you replace Sin Collector with for Arena? Not printed in Explorer. I guess I would play more bots in that case. But will have to suffice. No. Kurwa, no ja pierdolę, no. Oh no. Uh, holy shit, like the only possible out or what? And before I get push of the top, opponent has the sweeper. Collect evidence. I don't know what do I have left in my last few cards, but it's probably lands. 23 creatures, creature cards, Grease would hit them really hard. Amalian playable confirmed. Kurwa, Sramalia, such a gówno. Combo, nie? Gdzie jest combo w tym decku? Sramalia, yes, yes. Time to play creature lands. 
Honestly, it would be so base if like this deck could draw. Like lands that would be good actually. Classic 4-1 LCQ. Congrats. Well, not congrats. Anti-congrats. Restless Prairie. Free free green and white llama creature. Will I play Pooper RCQ? I will not, no. I'll play the Legacy one in an hour. But I wanted to take a quick break before it. And my opponent just won the game. Might be hard. We are successfully pressuring my opponent. Big fluffy cat on a watermelon. I guess not untrue. I see you, Yudaya, playing Hunt Showdown. I hope you're having fun. And you do it on top of watching the stream notes instead. You can Extraction Specialist. Get a lot of Explorers. Or Scene Collector. Sling Collector is only good against a single sweeper hand, but it's pretty good against it. Let's grab Sin Collector. I do, but I don't know if I'm a zoomer. What's your age? You have to be 18 to be a zoomer. 27, very not zoomery. Well, let's take the Delu Delulu. Sin Collector hitting Delulu. Perfect. I'll get Dina. Or maybe the bot. Since they cracked a clue already. Dina puts them to one. That's pretty useless. Q 
keep keep the company keep the company again and keep it again go blank ja pierdolę nie co tam ci ludzie nie wymyślą nie? po prostu Kiesy gówno ludzie do deka powkładają zawsze go blank Is it true that the core set foundation set releases the same day as the European Pioneer RC in November? I don't know. You tell me. Go rank, well put. Is foundation legal in Pioneer? It's a standard set, so I would think so. Because this guy is unlistenable to will they merge pioneer with explorer i think that is the plan i mean gachi is listenable too that's a difference I think Fama Shaman is not particularly great of a card either. It just dies. I think I'm slowly arriving at the Sramalia deck I want. I think Lively Dirge actually is the new printing that lets me do the things I always wanted. What are we doing, bro? Quenching? Or Cycling Typhoon? Quenching, congrats. You quenched. Fifty two is the He's a phenomenal fifth bell control number. player. Fifty two is the fifth bell number, the number of ways to partition a set of five objects. Partition a set of five objects. Well, I'll play the planes. Thank you for such a long sub, my friend, all psychonaut. Like my friend as in from the Twitch chat. Of course. Black black, what's that? Bro is gonna puff off pedal me or go blank. Um Sure. Path of Peril is a pathetic card. Jebać policję, znowu najebiemy się, bo to mafia gang. Nie dogonią nas. Jebać policję, bo to mafia gang. The answer to whether Foundations is legal is unclear. Foundations officially releases November 15, but if there is a pre-release, it will be the week before, which is the weekend of the RC. Unclear if there is a pre-release like other sets, though. Hmm. That's crazy. Pre release would be funky.
Why wouldn't there be a pre-release? Nice hand. We free to it. I got my play points back. I think I learned a decent amount on what I want to do with Sramalia. I think I want to play plenty of bots. Main deck. Let's do... Let's try it... Bot seems good with the Rich too. And then the mana base has less. Like we can probably ease the mana base a lot without Gord. Do I want Pillage the Bok to replace Mediocre Cord slash Coco? Coco is great. Just need to play more creatures, less. Not I'm <laughs> sorry.